Okay? Hold on. What's this here, Twiz? Before I even start, Sills, you got Mark Holmes all in his feelings yesterday. You said you don't, or he said you don't know shit about the Cowboys. And they're not trading his precious Dak. Who in the world said that I said they were trading Dak Prescott to the Patriots? That guy needs to understand. Hey, if you guys think I struggle in Super Chats, that guy needs to take an English lesson in how to read a tweet. I said they're kicking around the idea of potentially trading Dak Prescott to the New England Patriots. I didn't say they were trading him. And I can guarantee Mark Holmes, who I've never heard of. I've never heard of Mark Holmes. I have no idea who Mark Holmes is. Okay? Ah, well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. It is hump day. Try, time to get over the hump of everything that is the Cowboys drama. You know... I'd really like to get into the mind of the Dallas Cowboys organization, their brass and stuff. I don't know how it is that they think that this whole scenario of everybody um, just angry. That, let's be clear here. This is anger that is built up because of what the Joneses have done. Now, if, if you've just landed from Mars here... And you don't understand, the Dallas Cowboys underwhelmed against the Green Bay Packers, okay? That shit happens. It happens, okay? I, I think they went in there not ready to play. They were a little bit arrogant and everything else. and figuring we don't lose at home, and all we got to do is show up, and they got their ass kicked. All right, be that as it may, the Cowboys are where they are. But they have some players that are at the top in the NFL. Whether you believe in them or not, those kinds of players are few and far between. I hear all this stuff about the Cowboys should let Dak go and just go get Derek Carr because, of course, Derek Carr is winning zero playoff games. He's on his second team, and most of the people on his team don't like him. That is Andy Dalton part two. You can look around here at all of the quarterbacks and stuff, and the only one you look and say... Justin Herbert, no, that's not it. Josh Allen, no, that's not it. You say Pat Mahomes. It's Pat Mahomes and it's everybody else. And there's no surefire cure for saying, I just got a quarterback and I'm going to go ahead and go to the Super Bowl. If it was purely about the quarterback, then explain to me why the Texans, after making the playoffs this year, getting the rookie quarterback, are out there trying to get more offensive weapons. It's because they recognize you have to have players around them. And instead of looking at getting deals done, when they talked about getting them done last year, remember Jerry Jones saying things like, well, that's Micah's money and stuff. Well, why didn't you get Micah his money last year? And CD, so it would cost you less now. See, this is the problem. The Joneses, when they have lesser players, they decide, Let's go again and lock him down. Jalen Smith, who's injured. Michael Gallup, who was injured. They lock him down. And then the guys that are actually performing where you look and say, they should deserve to be the top players out there being paid. You run them through the mud. Now, here's what I know. Here's what I know. Dak, CD, and Micah will be signed eventually and will be at the very top in salary. With a, a contract that is bad for the team and the organization because it will be done after hard feelings. Because this shit that's going on right now, if you're CD and hearing about, you know, the Cowboys could trade, or if you're Micah and hearing that people in, inside are, are getting thin, you're, 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 you're wearing thin on some of these people in here, or that your Dak Prescott that, you know, they should trade for Derek Carr or, or have Trey Landstart, does that mean you want to go ahead and give them a discount? 
that you want to say, I want to be a team player? No. This is, I'm going to get every nickel out of these guys because they disrespected me here. We're trying to run a business here. So Des Bryant, who has been through this, I'm still waiting for the apologies from people who said that there's a tape of Des Bryant out there 10 times worse than Ray Rice. Des chimed in on this one. This is interesting now because now all of the disrespect and the uh, downplaying of players has spread even further. This is Des Bryant on Twitter. I got to feel this is somebody in the Cowboys organization writing me from a burner account. So check this out. I overplayed my contract before I entered my third year in the league. Back pay, ho. I was dumb and my support system was working with folks who were negotiating me a bullshit deal. So I fired them all. I'll save the rest of the story for another time. What's crazy, the same shit is happening to CD. Sad, sad, sad. No way he could have played out the contract the way he performed over the year. Guys, 1,759 yards, 12 TDs, led the NFL. Dallas Cowboys, single season record in yardage. I know he checked out in the playoffs. Bro, you've seen the Allen Hearns's. You've seen the uh, Michael Gallup's. You've seen the... James Washington's. Guys, CD's the real deal. And you can go ahead and say, we can just replace him. It's easy. Bro, no. So this is what actually was tweeted at Des Bryant. Des Bryant from an Oliver Goldhawk. Don't know who that is. Des, you need to STFU for once in your life. If anything, if the Cowboys don't overplay players who don't live up to their contracts, they might have had better success. You're a perfect example. You got paid and fucked off, excuse my language, and disappeared off the face of the planet. Stop talking. That was an hour ago. Oliver Goldhawk, let's see. Oh, interesting. Interesting. It could be a burner account. It's from Dallas, Texas. 26 followers. and he, uh, He's following 26. And he's got five followers. You know, that's the crazy thing about social media is you could be anonymous. Behind a keyboard, and you can be really, really tough. You know, it's funny because there's so many people out there that are hating that are literally punk-ass biatches. Yeah I, yeah, I said it. I said it. If you got something to say to somebody, if you have an issue with somebody, you should at least be man enough, or actually, I tell you what, some of the some of the ladies in here don't mess with them either. You should be grown up enough to show your face, let people know who you are. If you don't, if you hide behind the the keyboard and the computer, sorry, you're weak. Now I take. All kinds of flack. Believe me, Des, I know exactly what you're getting. I know exactly because I get it all the time. It doesn't even matter. I could literally say the sky is blue and people will go through and hate you and say you're an idiot. It's sky blue. So that's the nature of the beast. As far as C.D. Lamb goes, well, C.D. Lamb in his own words at the CSA show. And, and here's where I'm, I'm wondering, too. I'm wondering, when people talk about Micah Parsons is wearing thin, so is CD and Micah in the offseason going to card shows and making a little extra money and meeting the fans? Is that, um, you know, wearing thin? 
Let's check it out. How's the off season going? How are you keeping yourself busy? Um, relaxing, man. Chilling. Going out, of course. I am by the pool. Chilling. What are you looking forward to most next season? Winning again. Looking forward to winning. Being out there with my guys. And um, making another run at this thing. Are you? Are we going to see you in Dallas for sure next season? Come on, pretty boy. Let's go. Let's go. How you doing, dog? Good seeing you, man. Chris Carter. Oh yeah, absolutely. In intro into this little thing. You're doing well by yourself. I think we're going to the airport together. I'd like to be in that ride. Yeah, I'll be in Dallas. Although it's only like 10 How's minutes away. How's the going? How are you keeping yourself busy? Oops. Um, relaxing, man. All right, so that's CD in his own words of, I'll be in Dallas. And it's just a matter, it's not a matter of if, it's really a matter of when. Um. It's just crazy, guys. This whole stuff is just crazy. There is absolutely, positively no need for any of this. Because do any of you really believe that the Cowboys would trade Micah Parsons? Do you really believe that the Cowboys would uh, trade CeeDee Lamb? No, that's not going to happen. This is just the drama, the buildup, and everything else for it to get you talking about it. It's sad, but true. And it's terrible because what it's really done is not only does it create a bad feeling between the organization and the players, it became becomes a bad feeling between the fans and the players where we look and say, this guy sucks. He's not worth it. Don't pay him. He's a bum. And see, in the end, what we really need to do is we all need to realize we have one goal, and that should be winning the Super Bowl as opposed to trashing each other in all this reality show. I, I'm, I just don't even know what to say about it anymore. So here's NFL Networks. Now, now here's where I'm actually going to say that the Cowboys are getting thin. It's funny because it's gotten to be, you, you know, when... You know, remember when cupcakes were the big rage? Oh, my God. Cupcakes were, like, everywhere. They had cupcake vending machines, right? Everybody was getting cupcakes with bacon on top of them or sausage, you know, cupcakes or cupcakes that were, like, ice cream cones. They had all kinds of different cupcakes and stuff. <clears throat> they oversaturated the market. <clears throat> After a while, people got sick of cupcakes, and I'm beginning to feel like that's how it is with the Cowboys because it used to be that the Cowboys were the lead story on everything. And you know how I always finish my morning video because I want to go through with one of the talking heads that are having something to say. You know, of course, Dan, you lousy is always coming up with some, some really choice bullshit and such. But it's getting to be harder and harder. It's kind of like we've been there, we've done that. And it's harder for me to even find comments on first take anymore and that's because the cowboys aren't doing shit i'll have more on that a little bit later but let's go to the tape here and um take a look at uh what they had to say on nfl total access who they should draft with their top two picks but we start in sort of squash the rumors by telling tmz sports that quote yeah i'll be in dallas <laughs> So never a dull moment in Dallas is C.D. Lamb in. Is he out? What's going to happen with Dak's contract extension? Not to mention having to figure out how to also pay Micah Parsons. Jerry said he's all in. It's now or never. We're also here with Daniel Jeremiah with us. But, Emrob, I want to start with you. Now or never, what are they going to do in Dallas? Oh, we. Oui. Well, um, you got C.D. Lamb, who, to me, his only weapon as a player is to be able to hold out if he doesn't have the contract that he wants. And I believe in the National Football League. And if I'm C.D. Lamb, absolutely. I think he understands, yeah, from a business standpoint, I'm going to be there during the season. But, yeah, I want to hold out and let the Dallas Cowboys know that I'm serious about my contract. When you got a guy that has over 12 touchdowns last year and over 1,700 yards receiving, he is the probably the best player on their offense. They need C.D. Lamb in his offense, DJ. 
So I am Rob, I've been a part of some organizations that I know you have as well, where you, you'll see everybody get paid and they're like, oh, we're complacent. Everybody, everybody got paid. You know, we need to have a couple guys camera. that are still out there hungry and hunting for that big deal. The Cowboys have taken the opposite approach. Like we haven't paid anybody. We haven't <laughs> locked in anybody. Like it is all out there for you guys to go get this year. I don't have anything really to compare it to. Uh, but when you think about guys like CeeDee Lamb and Micah Parsons, like there's They've kind of done everything they need to do. Like, those should be easy checks to write, but this seems to be the, the top paid defensive player. All right, so we'll leave it right there. So, you know, this stuff is just crazy, man. It's literally just crazy. Alrighty, good people. I hope you have a good hump day. Got to get up the road and get working on this uh, farmhouse and stuff, but I'll be back this evening. And tonight I'll be premiering a special... Yeah, a special video for you guys. I'm Mark Holmes, and as always, I appreciate you guys. Peace out.